but I knew that something was off and I didn't I couldn't connect anything because I didn't know what I was looking for and then uh, a friend one of his best friends called and and had found out that he was using cocaine and um, it just I was blindsided by it I just remember not being able to breathe and you know just not knowing what to do or how to handle things because no one teaches you what to do and then it was just a shock um, and then we kind of did the whole um, up and down roller coaster for about three years I believe um, before he came to the last door and then things started to change. The women's group is a support group um, offered to any um, you know, spouses, girlfriends um, of the guys and uh, you know there's a lot of women that come and, and visit and it's offered to them to come and sit in and be a part of um, and for me it's helped me be married to him whereas say the family support group was for my emotions and how I felt but I think the women's group has allowed us to have communication together as a couple. Yes, you're married to an addict or you are with an addict, but you're going through trauma with them as well, I guess, right? Because there's so many emotional things and, um, you know, the person that you love is still under there, but in addiction, there's somebody else. And what I had a problem with was separating that. And what kept me together was that, oh no, my husband's under there somewhere, you know, I, um, and, you know, the door gave me him back, and in a way, he's better than what I thought he was, you know, he's kind, and he's, um, he's respectful, and um, today he's accountable, he's um, responsible, and um, he's not afraid to say I'm sorry, or, you know, say that he's wrong and at the same time because of the things that I've learned I'm not afraid to um, say that I was wrong too so I think you know through all this definitely not what I thought our life would be um, but I'm grateful for where we're at today. For me I lost a part of who I was um, during that time but um, you know the hope throughout it all was that I was able to heal um, and he was able to heal and y you can move on and live life past addiction. And um, I think that's one thing that, a really important lesson that we've learned here.